feeling this late in the camp? Is it just always tired? Or how's the, how's the ground uh, for you? You know, been been going through that low management, or whatever. You know, stacking up days and got a lot of rough today. In the heat, good defense. Uh, so great work, great work for sure. So it's, it's. Would you say that the joint practice work is a little more uh, beneficial than the game because you get those more reps? It's definitely beneficial, especially if you approach it the right way. Yeah. Um, you know, you're working, still working your technique, your offense, your scheme. Not so much game planning, so really fitting blocks, uh, being in the right spot and execute. So it's, it's definitely good work. I saw you guys dealing with some stunts and twists in the one-on-one. -on -one yeah. How does that help you guys in that one-on-one -on -one period? It's a great, it's a great uh, practice. You know, great, great trial to to get some live looks uh, when it don't necessarily count. You know, um, the more you can do, you can do those things and fine tune, get chemistry with the guy next to you. It's definitely beneficial. Trung, where's the run game in terms of where you guys want it as an offensive line? Uh, it's a play. It's a play by play um, critique or criticism. You know, we, we critique that play. We go to the next. We run, execute. We critique that play. So, uh, in order to, to make a uh, run game effective in in this league, all 11 got to be on the same page. So, uh, whenever one person is off, two people off, usually not a good play. Um, so we're just trying to fine tune that, fine tune all the details, the small things. Our run game is a, is a huge part of everything we're trying to do. So, it's got to be a uh, Point of emphasis of focus for us, building our foundation of our offense. Has that been even more of an emphasis this week? You know, I know Mike obviously was asking about it. Not yeah. huge numbers in the run game yet so far in preseason. Yes, Frank yeah, I mean, it, always it always is. It always is. It's the it's the number one. It's the number one for us. So focus on that, and then uh, teams also know that it's our number one. So they're focusing on stopping it or trying to contain more guys in the box. That's what we had quite a few explosive plays on the back end. Uh, when we can marry those both together, we're pretty dangerous. How, how, how about the dynamics of having the receiving core you have that will ignite your running game because it will loosen up the back end of that? Listen, having 10 and 17 in there at the same time, you can't put 8, 9 in the box. I mean, unless you just, you can't, do, you, you know, uh, you wouldn't be smart. Um, so it's working hand to hand. So having those guys in there, taking, taking some of that safety support out, then us being effective and efficient, making them have to bring that safety down so they can get one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Like I say, we marry these things together. We got a chance to, to be explosive. Is there one thing in, in the run game that's most important, whether it's attitude or physicality or, or you know, the, the way that the plays are called? Is there one element that's most important? Uh, assignment, landmark, and attack. That's it, man. Just knowing where you're going, going to get that landmark, that fit, and attack. Be, be violent and, and finish blocks. It's, it's really no more of a, of a recipe than that. Philadelphia has a pretty physical pass rush. Yeah. Uh, how do you think you guys just, without looking at the film, so Yeah. You know. uh, there's some, some great things for sure. There's some great things. Those guys are a lot of proven rushes over there, a lot of proven football players. So it's great work for us, man, getting that experience, getting that work uh, against top competition. For sure, it's only, it's only going to help and improve. Uh, I thought we won a lot. Had some, some players that we didn't like and, and need to clean up. But that's the beauty of these joint practices. You're getting those different looks opposite of the guys that you've been going against all camp. How many times did football moments like this give you inspiration to write some music? Uh, I, I, I like to keep my music off the field, really. So it, it more so just be like uh, life experiences. And I'll throw in a couple little, little football bars every now and then, but I usually try to keep it off the field.